Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss on sustainable management of resources. Okay, so me, the management of the resources in such a manner that they can last longer. Management of resources in the this field we are talking about forests okay in such a manner that they can last longer okay means our future generations can also see them or use them okay so have you ever heard of a movement named as chipko movement chipko movement which is very important movement in indian history okay so in this lecture i will told you i will tell you about this movement in detail okay this movement was a result of it was the result of a grassroot level effort a grassroot level effort to end the alienization alienation of people from their forests okay so in this movement the movement originated from an accident in the movement originated originated from an incident in a remote village in a remote village called Reni in Gadwal in 1970 it is up in in 1970s it is in himachal pradesh okay so there was a dispute what was the issue or what was the incident so there was a dispute between the local villagers between the local villagers and a logging contractor a logging contractor who had been allowed who had been allowed to fell trees in a forest to fell trees in a forest close to the village okay so on a one particular day on a particular day on a particular day the contractor's worker the so i am telling you here about what was the chipko movement and why it was so important the contractor workers appeared in appeared in forest to cut trees so which was their usual task to cut trees okay while the men while the men folk 
were absent. Okay, so undeterred, undeterred, the women's, the women of the village reached there, reached the forest quickly. So what they did there is, and clasped the tree trunks and clasped the tree trunks okay thus preventing the workers from thus preventing the workers from felling the trees Thus thought it, the protector had to withdraw. So in this way, the peoples of the, the women of the village thought it the contractor and then he had to withdraw. Means he will no, uh, he had no longer cut the trees there in the village. Okay. So inherent in such a competition to control a natural resource is the conservation of replenishable resource so our trees are replenishable resources so specifically the method of use was being called into the question and the conductor would have felt the trees destroying them forever the communities traditionally lop the branches and pluck the leaves allowing the resources to replenish over time okay so this was about the chipko movement and it the movement quickly spread across communities and medias and forced the government to whom the forest belongs okay to rethink their priorities in the use of forest produce so this experience has taught people that the destruction of forest not only affected us just the availability of products but also the quality of the soil and the sources of water so this is how we can sustainably manage our resources so this movement tell us how we can manage our resources okay so in the next lecture we will discuss about water for all okay and if you have still any doubt or any question based on sustainable management of resources then you can comment in the comment section students and I will be happy to help you guys there. Thank you students. Happy learning.